here to do a live set for Paul McCartney's 80th birthday. If you've been uh, watching the videos I've been posting for the past uh, 80 days, I've been doing some of Paul's lesser known songs uh, in my typical uncovered 80 uh, multiple day tribute. This time it was 80 songs for 80 days leading up to Paul McCartney's 80th birthday. So thank you for all the kind words for those of you who've been watching the videos for the past few months. And now I feel like let's do a live set. I uh, haven't done a live set in a while. And this one will be featuring the better known hits of Paul McCartney for his 80th birthday. Here we go. Uh, and if uh, feel free to place any requests in the chat. Uh, I'll be keeping my eye on that here. If, uh, but uh, let's get started here with this one.
band on the run. Title track from his big album with Paul McCartney and Wings, uh, Band on the Run there. Um, so yeah, I mean, Paul McCartney turns 80 today. I went to see his concert at SoFi Stadium and it was amazing. I wish I had even half the energy uh, that he has at 80 years old. Um, let's continue with some more hits from the great Paul McCartney here. Um, I hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Uh, let's continue with something from the late 70s here. So I scroll down, where is it? Here. Let me just check how it's laid out here. <laughs> All right. It's a nice, light, wonderful song from 1978's London Town album, number one hit. Um, and a favorite of mine, I used to do this a lot of karaoke, back when I did karaoke way more often. Here it is, it's called With a Little Luck. Paul McCartney. I don't believe he has done it live on tour, uh, at least uh, not since the Wings days. And I don't know if he'd even got in because there was that last tour that got cut short. I think it was even part of something. Anyway, he's not done it live, and which is shocking because it was a number one song. And I think it's a fun song. Some people think it's cheesy, but I adore the song. Uh, Oh, hello to Mexico. Excellent. We're going worldwide here right now. All right, let's continue here. Let's find another one. How about this one? One of his very early solo songs. As Now you can see the, the sun is now cutting across my face if I turn this way. Um, because that's just how the earth is revolving at this time of the afternoon. All right, this one is called... 
another day. Every, every day she takes a morning bath and wets her hair. And wraps a towel around her and she's headed for the bedroom chair. It's just another day. The office where the papers grow, she takes a break, drinks another coffee, and she finds it hard to stay awake. It's just another day. It's just another day. It's just another day. So sad. Another Day by Paul and Linda McCartney. A uh, wonderful solo uh, song. Or, um, actually, it was credited to both Paul and Linda. This was, it was uh, around the era of Ram before he joined Wings, and it's one of those great classic Paul McCartney songs. Um, how about a little disco? Or a little 80s, early 80s, new wave disco. This is from the McCartney 2 album. Ooh, as I almost flipped that over. Oops, here we go. Coming up is coming up.
coming up. It was a, a big early 1980 hit for Paul McCartney. As he was transitioning away from Wings. Um, Saturday afternoon here for those of you just joining, uh, June 18th, 2022, which is Paul McCartney's 80th birthday, doing a live set of his hits. Um, you know, whereas uh, for the past 80 days I've been doing these sort of lesser known songs now, going and diving into the great hits of Paul McCartney here uh, for this live set. So thank you for those of you who are joining now and for those who are watching this a little bit later, as uh, you all know, I leave the live streams up for people to see afterwards. Um, I'm telling you, this the sunlight is really breaking through tonight. Okay, let's do a, let's do another one here. Ah, uh, gotta love this one. Let's 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 do a little ballad from the Red Rose Speedway album. Um, Wings. First big hits. All right, here we go. And when I go away, I know my heart can stay with my love. It's in the hands of my love My love does it go Whoa, whoa, whoa Whoa, whoa, My love does it go My Love by 
Paul McCartney and Wings for Red Rose Speedway, a big hit for Paul McCartney in the early 70s. Um, <clears throat> now, we're gonna shift into some 80s McCartney. Um, so with this, let me see here. I'm gonna try to find the page. This song is normally a duet, but it was also recorded uh, by Paul by himself as a an alternate B side. Um, why it's doing this? So I'll stand by here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna adjust this. I'm gonna find the page number here. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna find a page. Do a little adjustment here. Stand by. with the uh, thing here. That's not good. Okay. <laughs> that is not good. We're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like this. The wonders of live streaming. How do you like these pajamas here? These uh, abom abominable snowman pajamas. Phil found online. All right, here we go. We're going to do this song here. Um, a big number one hit for Paul McCartney in the early 80s. And I will do my best to do it as a solo song. Trying to do both Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder's parts. It's called Ebony and Ivory.
I love that song. Ebony and Ivory, uh, Paul McCartney's big 1982 number one hit with Stevie Wonder. Um, one, of the, one of my favorites of his. Gets unfairly picked on as a very cheesy song, but I enjoy it. Uh, wow, look at, look at that. Uh, there's a glow to my face. Um, so 3.30 is when that, the sun just kind of hits right here, where I don't need any extra lighting. Uh, okay, um, let's continue here uh, with this uh, live set. Uh, but let's go back to the 70s. Back to the 70s here. And... Hold on, where is it? This is a great song from the Venus and Mars album. Another number one hit. This one is called Listen to What the Man Said. Here before we wrap things up, um, 
we are going to move a little further down the 70s uh, with this song from Wings at the Speed of Sound. He did this as part of the show that, we, that I saw him in a few months ago. It's called Let Him In. this up uh thank you all again for those who are watching those 80 days of paul mccartney songs that i posted thank you so much uh if you've missed them you can catch it uh in a playlist that i put uh, in my youtube channel so you can catch them all there uh and yeah let's keep going with a couple more before we wrap up this tribute this fun live set it's fun to be doing a live set again uh let's see here which one No, I'm going to do one that was part of the other thing, but 
I love this song so much that uh, I'm going to do a couple of encores of some songs from earlier in the series that were technically hits because one of them is a top 10 song and the other uh, also actually I think it, yeah both top 10 songs from the 80s anyway let me find them here on the on the old app all right this first one was a top 10 hit from one of my favorite Paul McCartney solo albums, Tug of War. You've heard me do it probably a couple times before. I'm gonna do it again. It's a great song called Take It Away. One of the uh, 
lost 80s hits of Paul McCartney. Uh, it hit top 10. It was number 10. So it is a hit that you just don't hear anymore. And speaking of which, my other big 80s favorite from Paul McCartney uh, coming up here. Not coming up. I did that already. But <laughs> this one, believe hit number six, 1984 from the Give My Regards to Broad Street movie. <sighs> Love this song. I can just cue it up for you here. Called No More Lonely Nights. Just did this a few days ago, but I'm going to do it again because it's such a great song. I can wait another day
No More Lonely Nights from, uh, give my regards to Broad Street, a fantastic 80s hit by Paul McCartney. All right. Uh, let's wrap it up with a couple more songs here. Let's go back to Band on the Run. Um, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Band on the Run. Big hit called Jets. <laughs> This one has always been tricky to do, but I've done it because it's, it's a fun song. It's a great song. Um, no, that's the one I got. The one that I've been using is the best one over there. Okay. Excuse me as I talk to myself. This is um, when Paul McCartney wrote a James Bond song. It's always a great number. It is a lot of, there's a lot of pyro and fireworks that happen. It's, it's really good. The audience really loves it. Us. Uh, and um, it is. It's, it's just, you know, visual overload. Lots of lots of quick cuts between the cameras in, in live show. We were just noticing my friend Matt and I were watching, like, oh my gosh, if you stare at the screen too much, it's just overwhelming because you just cut between all these different 
Shots. Uh, anyway, here it is. Uh, last song of this set. Thank you all for watching. By the way, before I continue with this, uh, I will be doing a few more live sets over the summer uh, because uh, in the middle of that period where I was doing the Paul McCartney songs, there were a, a few notable uh, anniversaries of some great albums. Um, so coming up in the next uh, few months, there will be a uh, 40th anniversary live set tribute to Elton John's Jump Up album from 1982. Um, there will also be, and uh, we'll see how much I get through this, uh, a 40th anniversary to Queen's Hot Space album, which will be very interesting on the piano. Uh, and then at some point uh, before end of year, uh, I will be doing a 40th anniversary tribute to one of the best Billy Joel albums, The Nylon Curtain. So all of those coming up in the next uh, few months as live sets, but I leave you now with this wonderful song, this wonderful James Bond song, Live and Let Die. When you were young and your heart was an open book, you used to say, See you for the next live cast. I think it's going to be the Elton John one. So watch out on the social medias for when that's happening. And have a wonderful rest of the weekend. I'll see you next time. Thanks for all the support. Bye.